Welcome back, Real Life Media, Christy Salazar, and I, I, I'm just so honored. Today has been amazing. Lucky Strike Film Festival has blown me away. Shout out to Romaine Simon for putting this together because I gotta tell you, I got another one of the stars that I pulled exclusively, because you know how I do, but <laughs> exclusively Emmanuel Vega. Um, I just watched, it was Unlawful Justice. Wow, I, I, I'm, I'm blown away today and I'm speechless because the quality of the content of today's film festival has just been on like this roller coaster of excellence. That's all I can say. But when I watched your film right now, it invoked so much emotion in me because I feel like it was a film that society could really relate to right now. We're seeing so much in the justice system and with law enforcement and all these things. And you know, you played a character in Remington. Yeah. And you play a Los Angeles Police Department, you know, um, a, a cop, right? And you pretty much are on the force. And the character starts, and you have to hear her. Yeah. You got into it because your father was the father was a cop, and it was kind of like your generational thing. And you start off the film, and you're just so pure at heart. Your motives are so good, and then life happens, you know. And you're you're just you're now turned into this transition of a man who's at his wit's end. And I don't want to spill the whole story for you guys, but I want you guys to support this film. It is so phenomenal, but it starts to show that life comes in. You had the best motives and you loved your job, you served the badge, and then life crept in. You know, you had a child, the child was born with an illness, and bills had to get paid, you know? And I really think it was a really testament to where we're at in our society. We see it so much in the headlines about people just coming to their wit's end. So tell me, take me through that journey of preparing for this character. Because it was intense. Well, it's not easy to be a police officer, you know. So they are dealing with all sorts of situations, yes. you know, with end situations. Yes. To people who are really on the verge of breaking. So we're, we're always dealing with that in our in our lives, mm -hmm. but we don't show it that much. Mm -hmm. We kept it in because we need to keep going. So it speaks to all of us. Did you come from a family of law enforcement? No, not okay. at all. Actually, it was a story very, very far away from my experience. So really? I had to, to I had to do a big job. Wow. A huge job to get into that character. That's a testament so far, to your skill, though, yeah, because you cut in there. I thought you were a cop. I was like, he has I, to be a I cop. I did the whole process of getting enrolled on the academy. Yeah. I went to the whole process okay. to see what's that about. You immersed about. yourself in the culture. Yeah, at the beginning, I didn't feel related to cops okay. at all. Okay. But now I'm like, I, how I did know you get how yourself it feels. in that mode? How did you get yourself to be? Because again, that character was so intense. Yeah, it's you know? crazy. Being an actor, you need yeah. to get in all sorts of experiences. So I went deep into being a cop, talking with cops, getting with them. They showed me parts of the city where only they can get exactly. close by. The behind the scenes, yeah, the exactly. Exclusives. So you need to get in the experiences. As you know, yeah. uh, you know yeah. how to do it. Yeah, you have to get in, get yeah. your feet wet. People are afraid to get their feet wet. Get your hands dirty, you know? And then it's all about being connected. We're yes. connecting people and we're trying to speak to our inner self, which is most of the time hidden mm -hmm. because this society demands so much out yes. of us. So our despairs, our yeah. sadness, it's always so... Our vulnerabilities can't sad. really be put out there because we're afraid of what people are going to think, the rejection we're going to feel. And I'm going to tell you as a woman how I felt it was really well represented is you're showing a man who is trying to support his family, who is trying to hold down a house, a job. And there's this vulnerability in what's happening in this movie because he's now, there's like a battle within him that's raging inside and he's trying to keep the badge of honor. He's trying to be all these things to all these people, but he has a breaking point. You know, and I think we as humans, we have breaking points exactly. where, you know, we can we can try, we can excel at our job and all those things. But life has a way of just kind of putting us through the grinder and we kind of feel like ground beef after a while. You know, we're kind of like, oh, my God, this is a little too much. And I think that it really just showed how he was so connected to his passion of what he wanted to serve the badge. But yet he still had the weight of the world on him because he had to be a man at home, a father at home, and he had to be this 
bad guy yeah, on the streets. Yeah, yeah. We've yeah. been taught to never to give up, yeah. especially cops. Yeah. But at some point in our lives, we need to give up. Mm -hmm. It's too tired to keep, mm -hmm. you know, the struggle the whole time. So we need to give up. We can give up. Yeah. Maybe we can quit. Yeah. But we can give up. You yeah. know, we can say I'm tired. Release. We can be enough. honest. Yeah. Yes. And say I'm not okay. Exactly. And I think that was one of the the best parts of the movie that I felt is when you're in the bathroom scene and you say give up because you're that moment of intensity and intimacy with yourself was a battle of saying I give up I can't do it all anymore I don't know what this means but I give up you know so I, I just want you guys to know this film where can they find the film how can they support it what's next for this film well we have a page okay a what's page. that page it's unlawfuljustice.com okay you can check that out okay and I am we're rolling for more festivals we're okay. looking forward okay. even in international okay. I, actually I come from Tijuana okay. I'm settled in really? Tijuana right now okay. so we're doing theater down there film up here international to do, yeah okay. to do both and the same situations happens all over all over the world yes so we're trying to speak to make connections to build bridges so yes. we can communicate Key and many bridges. amazing things can happen when we connect. Yes, and so. what I love about this film is it really does show the power of community and it shows what bringing, you know, actors of different ethnicities together. It was just, it was magic. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited. Again, I got a new buddy here, <laughs> Emmanuel Vega, Unlawful Justice, real life media exclusive. When I tell you we're bringing you game changing films this weekend, that's all I got to say. So again, real life media, Check it out, Unlawful Justice. Support, support, support. Besos. Bye. Lots of love. Lots of love.